Yeah. My first guest, you all know. Milton Burrow was the first star, the first real superstar of the television industry. Uh, he's responsible for selling of a lot of television sets. I know my family sold theirs. <laughs> it's an old show. <laughs> he's celebrating his 40th anniversary in television and his 75th year in show business. He's written a book, came out recently. It's, uh, it's really about the Friars Club and his that's contribution uh, to show business in general. And he's got a special coming up about the infancy of television called Milton Burrow the Second Time Around. Would you welcome Mr. Milton Burrow? <laughs> Johnny, it's so good to see you. I really mean it. Thank you, Milton. And I want to thank you for that marvelous introduction. I meant it. It's exactly the way I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to... Oh, by the way, uh, got to get something. I missed the last three jokes in your monologue. Oh, that was the one about the... <laughs> <laughs> and you're not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> No, uh, you were talking about Don Ho. Don Ho. In Hawaii, I like that bit. I, I stayed with Don Ho in his house, at the Ho house. And while I was there... <laughs> three, four. Oh, I got it. Before, before we even talk, I got to tell you what happened. I was coming through the, the uh, entrance here. Yeah. And they ha have a tour going on. You know, oh, the I'm NBC constant, tours. Yeah. And uh, some old lady, she's about 88 years old. She was cute. 88. 88. <laughs> Wait till I tell it, for God's sake, please. <laughs> and no, it's not a joke, it's true. Uh, she was 88, she walked over to me, she looked at me, she said, Hello, Uncle Milty. <laughs> she says, I love you. Oh. She says, you know, I've been watching you ever since I was a little girl. I said, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Sweet little old lady. Oh, no. Well, we get strange people in no, here. No, no, no. Oh, another, yeah, guy weird people. another guy come over to me. Really? Knowing my age, he said to me, when are you going to retire? Waiting for me to retire is like, is like uh, leaving the porch light on for Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> <laughs> she, don't, she don't know who the hell Jimmy Hoffa is. This woman. You're never gonna retire. Look in the yellow pages under cement. Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> what'd you say? I'll just jump in. Jump in anytime. Yeah. Just give me a kick under the desk and no I'll jump in. When, it, when you heard the theme song. Now, you, you went on television in 1948, right? 1948. God almighty. And, and you did the first show out of this building when it was built here at NBC. Uh, absolutely, right here in Burbank. And you worked in 6B in New York? 6B. Now, you did it all live in that time, even though we're close to live. But right. we, we don't edit anything. I mean, what, goes, what we do tonight goes out. Even the bit I just did after the monologue. That will actually <laughs> be sent to New York unless they shoot it down at Omaha, which I hope they do. <laughs> Maybe send it back. But you had no time to edit. It went out, and that was it. Well, we did it live. We had live audiences, and that's why I got the gray hair. Yeah. Right? And if you told a joke and it bombed, you just stood there like a dummy. Yeah, yeah, like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know the feeling. And, uh, I'll tell him when he cut it out. Can I book another here? Certainly. Yeah, happy and uh, I, uh, I don't know if you know this, but you're invited. Invited? Ruth, invi oh, by the way, how is your wife? She's Alex? lovely, thank you. Ruth sends her love. Thank you're you. are invited to my 80th birthday. When is it? Come July. In July, July well, congratulations. 12th. Congratulations, 80 years oh, old. Oh, well, well, I don't feel it. You, I feel like a 20-year-old, but there's never one around. What, what the hell? Hey. What the hell? Hey. And you have the body of a 20-year-old, and you better give it back. You're getting it all wrinkled. All wrinkled. Yes. <laughs> you, want to, you want to light that? No. Anyway, uh, yeah. Yes. Back up, please. See, here, let me... What is this? A prop? What are you... Permit me. Per <laughs> permit me. Here. There you go. Wow, wow. When are you going to be like, wow, wow? Mm. Just hold your hand there. <laughs> I got the light. I got You're the light. getting too old to inhale. <laughs> You've got to pull in on that. Hey, I'm not going to inhale while I'm sitting next to you, but I'll tell you the truth. Put the hand. Don't stop. Don't. 
Johnny, yes, I got to tell you something, and this is really the truth. I, uh, everybody, it's on all the paper. I'm going to be 80 years old, right. and uh, I'd like to say something to the gentlemen that are in the studio and the gentlemen watching the show. That sex over 75 is sensational, especially the one in the winter. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, Johnny, you know Ruth? You know Ruth? Certainly do. Ruth and I have sex almost every day in the week. <laughs> almost Monday, almost Tuesday. <laughs> now, now, now when, I, when, when, I'm, when we want to make love, uh, have a little uh, fudgy wudgy, um, I got to go through what they call uh, uh, Jewish foreplay. What is that? That's a good strength. Yeah. <laughs> what is Jewish foreplay? Jewish foreplay, that's four hours of begging. <laughs> and then... And then... And then... And then there's Italian foreplay. Italian foreplay? Yeah. Marie, I'm home. Now, uh... <laughs> boys, the band are laughing. Oh. Okay, I gotta... Uh, I gotta interrupt for a commercial here, and we'll come yeah. back... Wow, wow. Wah, wah. Stay oh, where you are. Up, <laughs> You, when you went on television and your show was on Tuesday nights, I can still remember the country literally, like in the old radio days with Amos and Andy, the country literally came to a standstill. People were home on Tuesday night. The bars, which were the first to have television, people actually stood outside a saloon. You younger kids won't remember this. They actually stayed outside store windows looking in at the television set for sale to watch this man's show. Yeah. There were only about, what, a half a million sets or something? It just was incredible. Everything slowed down. And you were outrageous in those days. You came out dressed up in women's clothes and mascara and all of that, and it was you were crazy. Yeah, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a skirt on you, right? Yeah. Thank you. Any I was listening to, the, to Doc Schwartz over here. And, Doc Severinsen. Uh, Severinsen. <laughs> Doc Severinsen. And I, I discovered, you know, we did the Texco show 40 right. years ago. Right. I looked, there's one musician that did that show. In I think the, you're talking yeah. about Conti Candola. Yeah, right? 40 years ago. I remember him very well because I never forget a suit. Anyway, there were about six million television sets, and, and a few years later, something like 26 million sets. And you were one of the first people. NBC signs you yes, sir. to about a 30 year no, contract. It was a lifetime contract. A lifetime contract. It expired eight years ago. <laughs> Did you, did you get money from them every year? Did I get money? Yeah. yeah. That's great. All those years. Should have got more. Yeah. But that's NBC. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you, an average hour on television, if you know what, you, what your show would cost the network today if you were on that same variety show, would probably cost to put on something like a million or over a million dollars. What was your budget? You have, do you remember for those first well, early years? I first went on in 1948, June 8th, the budget for the show, if the audience know what I mean by below the line and above right. the line, costumes and time, or due respect, and musicians, which costs us the most, and uh, <laughs> strong union. Yes. And uh, you ask me how much it cost? Don't fall down. No, I, I probably won't. For the whole hour, the whole thing cost $15,000. You couldn't get a guest star nowadays. Oh, if you wanted that. Diana Ross today yeah. and want to pay her $15,000, she'd go... <laughs> That's it. You, know, yeah. <laughs> you don't get a whole song. No song, no song. No. Your special's coming up the 18th? Yes, next Monday. Uh, matter of fact, the whole week is called Borough Week. NBC is giving the whole week to you. Yes, it's a syndicated show, John, and it's called The Second Time Around. Uh, why it's called The Second Time Around is because those shows, as you know, were done live, mm -hmm. and uh, you got what you... The audience got what they saw. You and know what Kinescope I mean? in those yeah, days. Which is filmed off of the we air. Yeah, it was filmed off the air. And we could not rerun Kinescope. Right. When tape came in, then uh, we used tape. So these uh, have been in my archives 156 hours of the Texaco show. Right. So the second time around, this show that I'm doing is scenes and stars from the 50s, the Texaco show. And it's Elvis Presley. 
uh, Frank Sinatra, Bob Hope. You had everybody in the world on the show. Debuts. They were all debuts. And uh, Phil Silvers and our president, beloved president, Ronald Reagan, as an actor who was very funny. Right. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And, and he still is. And he still is. Yes. I, uh, I hope, I hope, <laughs> I wish I'd have said that. <laughs> you will. <laughs> we both work for each other. I we always, we, we got a, we got some excerpt from the show here, a little clip. You got some clips? Yeah, we're going to show a little, a piece of, uh, some of the things that are going to be on, on the show coming up on January 18th. Watch the monitor in the Notice. studio. How can I get these girls to scream over me this way? I really mean that. How, how can I do that? Uh, Mr. Burrow, I, I don't think you'd like it. <laughs> I wouldn't like one. What do you mean? No, I mean, I don't like it, all these girls screaming, always tearing your clothes off, and always, you know, trying to rip you apart, always trying to kiss you. I, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't? I don't like it. Someone must have stomped on his head with those blue suede shoes. <laughs> I'm really very happy to be here, ladies and gentlemen, and particularly to be able to fill Uncle Milty's shoes. Farseur there, huh? Absolutely. Light well, that was my style. That still is my style. Uh, but uh, it's remarkable. Do you see Sinatra? I would tell you. He weighed 108. <laughs> it's marvelous to see those performers again in the well, early days. you're going to see the whole thing this coming week, signing changes. Interesting about Elvis, you know, who was, who was a nice young man. He always referred to everybody he ever met as Mr. Burrow. When I first met him, he was a tremendous star. He was no, Mr. No, yeah. What? Mr. Burrow. No, he would say Mr. What, Burrow, Freddy, Mr. Carson. you're not in the show. Just sit there, please. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie's enjoying his golden years over there in the chair. <laughs> but Elvis always, you know, Mr. Polite, Burrow, yeah. Mr. Burrow, uh, Mr. Carson. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell you one story. Yeah. One story, and then I got to be on the set June. And uh, <laughs> uh, Elvis did uh, one of the first shows with me, and uh, I met him at the airport uh, with a limousine, and he had Colonel Parker with him, Tom, Tom Martin, Parker. Right. And he was a brilliant guy, and uh, he came in, sat in the limousine, and Elvis was seated between Colonel Parker and myself. Colonel Parker was managing him then. So I said, uh, Elvis, I'm very happy that you're going to be on the show. I have a contract here, and as I was about to hand it to him, Colonel Parker says, give me that. Don't show that to the boy. <laughs> Meaning what? But on account of Colonel Tom Parker, with the right. work that he's done, or he did. Right. That's why Elvis, there's only one Elvis. Got yeah. Him. yeah, they had a unique relationship. It was almost a 50-50 relationship, which is unusual in that business. I should say so. Anyway, the book is called B.S. I Love You. Yeah. It's a fascinating account of... But uh, they're laughing. They don't know what B.S. means. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not Barbara Streisand. It's not Barbara Stanwyck. It's not Bobby Short. Right. It is exactly what, what, it's what it says. To be. And it's 60 Funny Years with the Famous and the Infamous. I hope it's a big hit. It's a fun book to read. A lot of great stories. Did you like it? I loved it. I'm glad. And I thank you for coming. Hey, I thank you. I'm and glad. Monday night. I'll see you. We'll Johnny. be there the second time around. Thank you, Mildy.